What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to re-season your old cast iron grills. This is just the old grilling pan right here and we're just going to take it, we're going to heat it up, scrape it all off, get it cleaned up and then throw some re then get a good re-season on it. Uh, the things you're going to need for this is some way to heat these up. You can do this on your stove top if you want to. Uh, I recommend doing it outside uh, over the grill or if you have a, a double burner uh, camp cooker or something like that to heat it up with, that's best. Uh, just because this is going to smoke and you don't want to fill your house up with smoke. So we'll get started on that. Alright guys, so we've got our grill turned on and we've got our pan on top of it and we're just going to heat this thing up. And once we've got it nice and uh, hot, we're going to scrape off all the old junk that's on there with a putty knife. And then uh, we're going to re-season it. Alright, so I'm getting it nice and hot. Okay, I see I can start really easily just scraping some of that crap off of the edges here. Get that gunk off. This side's not too bad, but as you can see, there's not really much of a season on it anymore either. But we can just really easily pull that other stuff off with that putty knife. Flipping it over and doing stuff. There's these great Camp Chef uh, gloves. I picked these up. I think I picked these ones up at Walmart. Um, but you can reach in, you can touch this stuff without burning your hands. And they work really good. Good gloves. Recommend getting a good pair of gloves for something like this. But basically, you just want to scrape all that old junk off. You want to get a good scrape, get all that junk off of there. Sure, we're still in frame. We are. Got that side. Give it a flip. Make sure we're in frame. We are. And we'll do the same thing to this side. Probably. All right, guys, so I got as much as I could off with the putty knife, but I started with the dr doing the drill with the uh, wire wheel. It works really, really well, and I just thought I'd share it with you guys real quick, but I got, you can see like over here, I just scraped what I could off, um, but it still was pretty bad, so I decided to get out the wire wheel with the drill, and all you do is turn it on. And you can scrape these things down to bare and then restart and get a good re-season on all of this. So I'm going to go through and do that and then uh, we'll see you inside. Alright guys, so we've got our pan all cleaned off. I rinsed it off in the sink, got all the dust and everything off of it. It's warm, but it's not hot. We're going to add our grapeseed oil onto it. And while that's going on, we're also preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Now you gotta do is just take a paper towel or a lint-free rag or whatever you want to use and you're going to spread this oil all over the pan. Uh, for an initial season, uh, using something like grapeseed oil or flaxseed oil works really well. It bonds really good with the metal. Uh, if you just have regular old vegetable oil though, that'll work. Uh, as well uh, using something like Crisco or something like that. Crisco works really well too. Got that side done. And add some oil on this side as you can see I got all that gunk out of all the rails with that drill it doesn't take very long it's a super easy process some people are a little bit uh, worried about using a wire wheel on it with a drill on their cast iron if you're stripping it it is by far the easiest and best way to go it's super simple to do it's not really that daunting of a task sounds like a lot but when you actually do it you realize that it is super simple and works quite well just gonna get a lot of that excess goop up so we don't have any pooling we just get a nice good season so we'll get this in the oven and we'll see you guys when we're done we got it in the oven we're gonna close it up and let it sit in there for about an hour at 350 degrees. Once we hit that mark, we're going to shut off the oven and we're just going to let it cool down naturally. We're going to take it out and we'll check it. We'll probably re-season it again. We'll warm it up a little bit, add some more oil, 
you can do this again and try and get at least, if you strip it clean, you want to try and do at least two to three coats on it if you can. All right, we'll see you guys when uh, it's done. All right, guys. So we've gotten our first layer done. It's nice and cool. There you go. You can kind of see that sheen on there. Got that first layer on our grill pan. I know it looks kind of orangish, but that's just the color of the oil. It's not rust. Got it all cleaned off. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do this again. We're gonna put another layer on, and then we're gonna pop back in the oven at 350 degrees, let it go for an hour. And we're just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna probably do it uh, at least two more times today. Alrighty so guys, there it is. That's three coats a season on this. It is all ready to go for our trip. Both sides looks a thousand times better. Like I said, it's just ready to go. And like I said, this fits our Coleman stove perfectly. And keep an eye out for those future videos on how to refill those one pound propane containers. I'm also doing a video on how to reorganize your entire back of your van and build a shelf system for the whole back of the van. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you got some good information out of it. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, make sure you drop a comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and ring that bell so that you guys can catch those future videos. Until next time, we'll catch you down the line.